This is 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. After the American Revolution, states began including the guarantee of the right to petition for a redress of grievances in their new constitutions. Later, in Adderley v. Florida, 1966, the Supreme Court explained that the right to petition encompasses a broad range of activities constituents use to communicate with government officials. The right has an ancient history and is not limited to writing a letter or sending a telegram to a congressman. It is not confined to appearing before local city council or writing letters to the president or governor or mayor. Conventional methods of petitioning may be, and often have been, shut off to large groups of our citizens. Legislators may turn deaf ears. Formal complaints may be routed endlessly through a bureaucratic maze. Courts may let the wheels of justice grind very slowly. Those who do not control television and radio, those who cannot afford to advertise in newspapers or circulate elaborate pamphlets, may only have a limited type of access to public officials. Their methods should not be condemned as tactics of obstruction and harassment as long as the assembly and petition are peaceable. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.